In this video, I'm going to show a couple ways you can do auto turn movements for a roundabout. And the way I prefer myself is to use the centerline path with adaptive simulation. But before I show that, I also want to mention that I see a lot of people using the smart paths, which is fine. But I just wanted to show maybe one thing about that that may not be the best in every case and as you can see I'm drawing this uh, vehicle through here I'm stopping the vehicle and making adjustments to my steer path as I come through here and I'm not saying anything wrong with that but you can see all these markers where I've stopped the mouse to change the steering angle I'm not sure that's very representative of a real world driver coming through here that's why I like to use the centerline path method because it's very free flowing. So if you want to use this, that's fine. And you think it's a good path, that's great. I'm just going to show you a different way. That's the way I like to do it. So for the centerline path, um, I'll just use my offset tool here. We'll start with eight feet. That's just to give me a place to get the vehicle in the center of the lane. And then I'm going to switch to 5.5, and the reason for that is that the vehicle is 8 foot wide, so the center line will be 4 feet. And if I add another foot and a half, that's going to be 18 inches off whatever element I offset. And the minimum we want is 1 foot, preferably we want 2. I'm just going to use 18 inches just to start out with to see if this design is going to work. So I'm going to get this curb the apron curve here and for the right turn I'm going to come down and grab this switch it back to 8 again just to get us a path to come out and every roundabout is going to have a little different geometry you may have tangent here you may have curved but I think this gives you the idea of how to generate a path so I'm going to connect these up And then I'm going to take a look at what we got right here. And we can see that these aren't going to quite meet. So in this case, I'm going to use a fillet. And for a WB67, I like to use 50. It's pretty conservative. The truck can actually turn a little tighter. But I think we want to be conservative to account for variations in driver experience. And with that 50 foot, it, it comes right about where we want it. So I can get rid of that, and then I'm going to chain this up, and that will be the right turn path. I'm going to switch to this level for the through. I'm going to copy this because I can use part of it for the next movement. Turn off that first one. So now I can drop this element and delete off what I don't want. Back to my offset. 5.5. I want clearance here. here. So the truck is turning right, it's going to have to reverse completely around to the left. So again, I'm going to use my 50 foot fillet tool and then it's going to reverse back to the right. So again, I'm going to connect those. You can see that we got clearance there, meeting our clearance here and here. So that would be the through movement, chain that together. Switch my level to left turn. And again, I'm going to copy this so I can use part of it. All right. Drop it again. Take off what I don't want. 
Okay, five and a half. Clearance off here. Here. And again, to exit the intersection down this leg, I'm just going to do eight feet to get the vehicle down that lane there. If I extend this, it looks pretty darn close to what we want. So I can just do connect these here. And then to finish out the movement, I'm just again going to put in a very conservative radius 200 to exit down that leg. You can see that we're meeting clearance here. Clearance here. Clean this up. And I'll chain this together. And there's the left turn. So I'm going to turn all those back on. And just to help pick these for the auto turn, I'm going to just move the ends off of each other here so I can see them all. And then go to auto turn, adaptive simulation. I'm going to pick each of these. And you can see it puts in a very nice free flowing path for all these movements. You can check your clearances. This one looks very good. And that's one way I prefer to do it. There's many others, but I hope this helps you out if you need it. Thanks.